Hey, Journal Hospital fans, I've got your recap for Wednesday, September 25th. We've got Carly being cold while Sam begs her Molly targeting Sunny and a four way death threat. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt. Let's dive into the action on the most recent GH. So Carly's checking in on Lulu, promises her that they're trying to find Lucky to get there to help her. And then Sam shows up at GH talks to Carly in the hall. She's pressuring her to just tell the truth and admit the alibi she gave Sonny is false. Sam says there is no way in hell that they are back together and doing the deed in Tracy's bed. Carly keeps lying and lying and lying. Sam begs her, please tell the truth. Please clear my mom. They step into Lulu's room to have some privacy. Carly's attitude is sorry for you, but what's happening to Alexis is her own fault for tossing a gun. Says it's not her fault, not Sonny's fault. None of them did it to her and says, eh, Alexis is a good lawyer. She'll figure it out. But Sam comes back with Alexis is protecting Christina and basically demands that Carly show some empathy and Carly isn't having any of it. And Sam reminds her Sonny has the resources to get himself out of whatever he has done. Carly does more lying. Sam's getting angrier saying protecting Sonny is like air, like oxygen to Carly and says her fake alibi is keeping Sonny out of prison, but is keeping her mom in prison. Carly does not care. And Sam says, you know what? Warn Sonny that you're going to tell the truth. And that way, Diane can defend him. He'll have a heads up. And then Carly changes the subject, saying Lulu is her only concern, meaning she doesn't care that someone else is going down for the murder that they both know Sonny did. And Sam says the GH staff is helping Lulu. Carly's doing nothing except for talking Jason into risking his life. Again, Sam's mad about that too, because she's worried Danny's dad isn't going to come home. Carly says, I'm not going to apologize for it. Sam says, no, you never apologize for anything and tells Carly she should be thinking about a family other than hers. And Sam is just very frustrated, again, asking, recant the alibi. She says, I'm not asking you to lie. I'm not asking you to frame anybody. I'm just asking you to be honest. And she tells Carly it's the right thing to do, and she knows it. And, of course, Carly is locked down. You know, she's not going to do a gosh darn thing. So Christina spends some time talking to Sonny about, yeah, I took your gun. But then she also tells him, and I went to the quarter mains to kill Jagger. And Sonny says he gets it because John Cates was harassing her and she was in a mental health crisis. And he says he totally understands it. She tells him Felicia got her some resources for therapy all lined up. And Sonny is very proud of her for getting help. And he tells her killing someone is never the answer. And Christina is looking at him like, Mm, we both know what you did. You know, you thought it was the answer. But then Sonny says, killing marks you and you carry it for the rest of your life. And he doesn't want that for her. He will not confirm he killed Kate's, but I mean, everybody knows he did it. And Christina is very worried about her mom, but Sonny says, trust me on that. And she says, promise me my mom won't go to prison for a crime she didn't commit. And Sonny is kind of I think he was being a little cagey. He said he promises they will all get through this. That's not quite the promise she was asking for. Alexis is still in her conversation with her lawyer, Martin Gray. And she says he can't take this case to trial because of Christina. Basically, Alexis is saying that Christina will do something in open court and say something to implicate herself. And he says, you need to get a muzzle on your daughter. She's a grown woman. Surely she can keep her mouth shut. And Alexis is basically saying, no, she really can't. And Marty complains that Alexis has tied his hands. And she says, not only will Christina speak out in court to defend her, she would do the same thing for Sonny and it will ruin her life either way. His attitude is she's an adult. But, you know, Alexis isn't going to 
let her take the fall. And she says, look, a lot of people hated John Cates. Just go find a different suspect. I think she means different than Sonny, different than me. Later, Molly meets with Martin. She asked to see him. He says, this is a conflict of interest. She says, this is family, not ADA business. She wants to know who hired Martin, and he says he can't say, but she says, I know it was Sonny, and he kind of gives the nod. And she says their best approach is to get Sonny indicted instead of Alexis. And he says, hypothetically, yes, that would be a good strategy. And then she definitely seems to be off of the Christina killed Kate's and on the Sonny killed Kate's thing. She says, Michael and Jason will not help. And says, if Sonny is guilty, which she thinks he is, clearly Carly lied about the alibi. And she tells Martin, Carly is the person to go after because that's the weak link. And of course, I mean, Carly's scared of going to jail. So yeah, Jordan talks to Isaiah and they talk about when he's getting out of the hospital and she gets a call about something important, doesn't want to talk. Then he talks her into talking and she says it's about the headstone for the grave for her little grandbaby that died. Isaiah is very nice and consoling her. She says, TJ would have been such a good dad and Isaiah advises her to get some therapy for her loss. And then Jordan goes, Carly comes in and tells Isaiah, Jason's on the job. He's going to get lucky out. Isaiah freaks out and says, one guy isn't enough, but she says, Anna and Jason are very impressive. And the WSB is keeping an eye on it and helping unofficially. And she says, Sidwell invited Jason and Anna to his camp. And Isaiah says, they're going to end up dead along with Lucky if they are not as good as she thinks. Jordan heads to visit Alexis at Pentonville tells her about the headstone. They talk about each other's grief. And Jordan asks if she was going to help Christina take the baby away from Molly and TJ. And Alexis defends herself, said Christina came to her for advice. She refused. She hung on to the petition, hoping Christina would calm down and not do it. But then Molly found it. Alexis insists Christina wouldn't have gone through with it. Jordan isn't so sure. She's also worried TJ and Molly may split because of this crisis. Alexis is a little more optimistic, and they agree to support their kids no matter what. Sidwell and Holly bring Anna and Jason to his camp in Somalia. Sidwell wants to know why they're really there. Meanwhile, Lucky's trying to pick the lock on his cell. So Anna lies and basically says she's in the same business with diamonds and gold and metal. She wants in. Holly leaves and Sidwell tells Anna, make your pitch. She offers him this distribution thing in Switzerland, clears up that Jason is her security. He asks for a reference. He has a guard check it. The guard comes back and tells Sidwell references are good. They checked out. And then Lucky gets his cell door lock picked as he opens it. Holly's there, says she's going to rescue him. She says they have to go. Have to save the guests too. Lucky doesn't care about them. And then Sidwell is there with the guards. He is PO'd at Holly now too. So then Sidwell and his guards have Holly, Jason, Anna, and Lucky all in the room. Holly lies and says she was just bringing Lucky to the game. He's mad, wants to know how Holly and Anna are connected because somebody overheard them. And she basically says Anna is horrible and messed up her marriage that they share an ex-husband. She calls Anna basically a homewrecker and Anna picks up what Holly is dropping and she joins in and Holly says she was scared that Anna was targeting Sidwell, trying to ruin their relationship too. Just a lot of lies. Sidwell also wants to know how Holly knows Lucky, and Lucky says Holly was just being nice to him. And then Lucky says Jason and Anna are trying to take Sidwell for everything he's got. They're just all trying stuff. Sidwell proposes a game. Three players, Jason, Lucky, and Sidwell. If Jason wins, he and Anna live. Lucky and Holly die. If Lucky wins, Anna and Jason die. And if Sidwell wins, all four of them will die. That's a lot of fun. That's the whole episode. Be sure and click subscribe if you haven't. Definitely share this recap with your friends. If we get enough views, we'll keep it going. We'll see how it goes. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt talking General Hospital seven days a week. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.